Hi everyone, Tracy here again, a Golden Art Educator here in Barbados. I am back with my background. Last time I showed you that we had put on um, acrylic flow release and some JC800 along with some medium, light molding paste and heavy gel gloss. Of course I'm going to use my high flow which I love because I like the very thin quality and the watercolor consistency that it gives me. And I'm going to paint uh, palm trees. Uh, which is beautiful here in Barbados and um, I will now begin okay so I'm gonna dip my brush in some G into some JC 800 and my wetting agent and use that as my medium I'm gonna put it on to the trunk of the palm here and I'm gonna get some white paint dip it in and apply it I'm adding some um, green gold here for the palm. I'm dipping up again into the 800, some wet agent, and I'm creating the base of the palm tree. Now I'm going to add a little bit of floor release because I want to give it a really fluid um, effect and just let this flow to create the seeds of the palm. Then I'm going to put in some background as well while I'm working at it and I'm going to add a little ultramarine, some white to this. Now I'm not too concerned with um, a lot of detail at this point, I'm just really laying in the color. This color I'm using is indigo, Anthracion indigo. I also like to use this as my dark color. Um, I just like the, it has a very dark kind of blue purpley color to it. And um, I'm going to put the dark color on first and then I'm going to come back on top and put my lighter colors. I'm going to move up to this palm and while this is drying a little bit, I will start to work on this one here. So as you can see, it's beginning to take shape here okay and I will continue on laying in the leaves I'm painting very freely very free and not um, concerned really with a lot of definition Okay, so we're progressing along nicely here with uh, my palm trees in the garden. And um, I'm going to continue now putting on some highlights and um, getting my darks in and bringing it more to life. I'm using my Neptune brush. I actually like the Neptune brushes by Princeton. And I like how they um, manipulate paint and they hold a lot of water and product. So.
this is the finished piece here I had a lot of fun painting this I started with a very free and fluid background I used acrylic flow release GAC 800 where I uh, mixed um, the various high flow acrylics into the fluid products and I poured and I dripped and turned and had a lot of fun uh, making this flow and um, then I put it to dry then we came back on top and we used a light molding paste and we used the um, heavy gel gloss because we wanted to get a little texture in the tree trunks and in some of the foliage in the trees then I added my color on top and I mainly use high flow um, acrylics along with the fluids and I love love the free and very flowing nature of these products and I'm a I must say I'm a very colorful artist I think I'm a colorful person and I like painting with lots of color and um, I'm from the Caribbean and there's lots of beautiful and vibrant color around so my taint paintings tend to reflect that and um, I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoy painting it you can find all these parts at the Art Hub in Bridgetown, Barbados, James Folk Building. And I have all the golden products there. Heavy body, fluids, high flow, open acrylics, and all the various mediums to go with it. And um, you can also go to my website, which is tracy.webstyles.com. Thank you.